Hey guys, it's Sam, uh, over two years in and I finally caught COVID, no idea how. So this is the first time I've looked presentable in about two weeks and I did the most minimal makeup I possibly could because again, I haven't worn makeup in like two weeks. <laughs> but I'm finally feeling well enough to make some content and some reading stuff has piled up because I've had a ton of time to read. So today I'm going to be reviewing Light From Uncommon Stars by Rika Aoki. This is an adult standalone speculative novel. The way that I classify speculative is where it's like not completely falling into like fantasy or sci-fi. It's probably a mix of both. This is definitely a mix of fantasy and sci-fi. This follows a number of different characters but I would say Say there's probably two that are our main characters that we're following. First is Katrina, who is a young transgender runaway, and she's also a violinist. And we're following her just as she is running away from her family, who does not support her. And we hear about a lot of the horrible things that she's been through as she's trying to find like a place to kind of call home. The other main character is Shizuka, who is also a violinist, and she has been a mentor and teacher of very talented musicians for many years. And people call her the queen of hell, but what they don't know is that she actually does take those musicians and basically get them to sell their souls to hell so that she doesn't go to hell. She needs seven souls. She has six, she needs a seventh, but she needs the perfect seventh and we see how these kind of might intertwine. There's a couple other characters we follow as well that are like more minor characters. We follow a luthier who are like people who make uh, stringed instruments. We follow like them. Uh, we also follow the uh, family that runs a donut shop. We find out they are from space. This was also my Patreon book pick for the month. So every month my Patreon supporters get to vote in a poll for a book that I'll read and review. This also happened to overlap with the Hugo nominees that I'm reading. This is one of the Hugo nominees for this year. So if you'd like to participate in polls for books that I'll read, videos that I'll do. We have a discord, we have a book club, we have a bunch of different stuff. I will leave the Patreon on the screen. I actually went into this not knowing like anything about it. I think I read the blurb maybe once um, and I just, I saw the cover, I heard it was really well loved, I heard it was by a transgender author and it featured a transgender main character and that it was like speculative but I didn't really know anything else about it. So I went into this with like very low expectations besides that people really loved it and like really not knowing what this was about besides people would say it was Wayfarers meets Good Omens and I will talk about how I feel like that is actually like a pretty good comparison. So first off, we'll talk about the world building. So I will say that the elements of like the fantasy and the sci-fi elements were like probably a little weaker here. Um, this doesn't necessarily stand out. Like it definitely is a speculative story, but those elements are like not even really the strongest points and they're more it's so hard to explain how like they're thrown in, not in a haphazard way, but like they just don't feel like the main point. This feels much more like a contemporary novel in a lot of ways than it does very fantastical. The big world building elements that I would say are the major focus are actually food and music, specifically violin. So I liked those elements, but I'm not a huge musician. So some of these like discussions of music and art and whatever, I just was like, I mean, I, I get it from like an outside perspective, but not necessarily something that's like really pulling me in. There are a lot of descriptions of like food and food like culturally and things and how food brings people together. There's a lot of like smaller themes in here that I'll talk about more in the plot um, that are all kind of put together in this one book. Next, I'm gonna talk about our characters. And this is very much a character driven story. So when people say it's Good Omens meets the Wayfarer series, it's definitely that, um, but again, less fantastical and things because it's a lot more about character interactions and how all these people's like lives intersect and a lot of again cultural significance and things um a lot of discussion of like gender and like sexism and misogyny and how that impacts like women or femme presenting people in general discussions of like again transgender youth and some of the things they have to go through so there's a lot of triggers in here i should probably go over all the triggers in here honestly there's triggers for sexual assault sex work misogyny transphobia racism racial slurs self-harm that might be everything but just like a lot of really heavy topics, child abuse. So with Katrina, we get like her experience as a trans woman and like all the things she has to go through. And yeah, we just get a lot of like exploration again of themes within character interactions. So that makes me like feel a little distant from the characters because there wasn't really enough time for a lot of them. Like there were some characters, like I mentioned that there's other characters POVs that we sort of get. We don't necessarily get enough time to like really feel attached to them. These characters don't necessarily feel real in a way that I would have expected them to. Um, and I 
find that they're probably going to be fairly forgettable over time. There's also explorations of like AI and what it means to be an AI. There's a sapphic relationship in here. There's just, there's a lot of different things of being away from home. So the thing is, let me talk about the plot now. The thing is, is like the plot is like fairly fast paced. Um, but because there's so many themes being explored, I didn't feel like any one of them got quite enough time. Because I already mentioned there's like all these different themes being explored. Themes that pop up a lot and like sci-fi fantasy things like that. But it's so much that it's like for a fairly short book, like we don't necessarily get, not even necessarily like a satisfying wrap up for a lot of them, but just like we just get very like shallow discussions of all of these because there's just there's just not enough time there's just so much so i kind of wish that the narrative would have been like tightened up a bit maybe cut away a couple of these like extra characters and like those explorations um instead of it being such like a vast exploration of so many different themes like really hone in on a few that might have worked a little bit better what i will say is that whole like good omens meets wayfarers thing again that comparison as I was reading it, this did remind me of like the feeling of the Good Omens TV show, kind of. Um, I love the Good Omens TV show, I've never read the book, um, but I feel like if this was adapted, that'd be good. Like if we had a full miniseries and could explore all these themes, cool. I think that would work. I think for a book it was just like not enough time. So ultimately I liked this but I didn't love it. I end up giving it 3.5 out of 5 stars. A lot of explorations, different themes, but just not quite enough for me. Um, just a lot of like the, the premise and things were really good, but the execution didn't quite live up to what I thought it could have. Um, had a lot of potential, and so I would definitely read more by this author, but there's just a couple things that like didn't quite stick the landing for me. And then there were just some themes that like, I don't particularly care about like the music stuff and whatever, um, that was like such a major part that I was like, okay, like this, this is not a theme that I necessarily like love. Um, so yeah, there was just a lot of potential and not quite enough execution for me. Still decent, 3.5 out of 5 stars. So comment below, let me know what you thought of Light from Uncommon Stars. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.